Hi all, I hope you're doing great. In this quick video, I'll be showing you quite a few tips and tricks when you're fence selecting entities in your FEMAT models. Now this is the entity selection dialog you'll see when you're, for example, creating a load, as you see here, or if you are working with groups and adding entities to groups. Now there are two toolbars at the top of the FEMAP window, which are the FEMAP selector toolbar as well as the draw erase toolbar. So I'll be talking about both of those in just a minute. And two other things I'll be discussing are the pick visible setting, as well as the difference between the pick any versus pick all inside. Uh, as you see here in the right click menu, and you may see these, uh, these settings in a couple other places in FEMAP. Now first, let's talk about the FEMAP selector. Now on the second drop down here, you can switch between selecting a single item or multiple items and on the first drop down is where you pick the type of entity you want to select for example a curve so now with curve set i can either hover or click on any of these uh, curves and one use case for this is using the entity info pane so here i can see the curve id the number of elements even properties and other information regarding that curve and for now i'll just go ahead and clear that selection out now the other toolbar is the draw erase toolbar and I'll just use this to show a few other things. With this drop down I can select geometry to show and hide, in this case curves. So what I'll do is use my shift shortcut, I'm holding shift on my keyboard right now and dragging a rectangular fence around the top of these, uh, the top of this truss structure to get the top curves. Now notice what happened as I click the highlight tool it actually grabbed the vertical curves as well. Now why is that? It's actually that pick any versus pick all inside option. So if I right click, it's set to pick any inside. And the reason it grabbed those vertical curves is because my fence actually included the top points of those vertical curves. So what, what pick any inside does is it will pick anything that you enclose at least one component. So if we're talking about curves, you need, you're need you going to need to fence select either uh, one or both of the points that make up that curve. If you're trying to fence select an element, uh, let's say we're talking about a 2D element, uh, a square, then you need to select at least one of the nodes that make up that element. So that's what the pick any inside means. Is you're, you're just it's selecting anything that you enclose at least one of its components. Now if I switch to pick all inside and reset my selection here and I hold shift and drag the same sorry about that, I got out of the selection command there. If I hold shift and drag the same rectangular fence now notice the difference. It only grabbed the curves that I completely enclosed meaning both points of, of all those curves. So that's the difference between the pick any versus pick all inside. Now I'm going to switch to another model I have here to show you a couple other things. Now if I use, instead of the uh, select or draw in, uh, the draw erase menu for geometry, there's also a mesh drop down. So I can select elements, materials, properties, as you can see. So if I click on uh, elements to show and hide, I get the same entity selection dialog and I can again hold shift to drag a rectangle or if I reset, I can hold control and drag a, a circle. And one other shortcut is actually control and shift. If I hold control and shift, I can click to place several different points for a polygon to make my selection and simply click done when I'm finished. Now, as I do that and I press the highlight and rotate the model, notice it's, it's going through the entire model, right? So if I press OK at this point, it's going to literally blow all of those elements away. And, and, and that's what the use case of this Draw Erase toolbar is. It lets me dynamically show and hide different entities like elements uh, as I'm showing here or curves as I showed just a minute ago. Now, I can very quickly switch between showing and hiding those elements. Right, so there's many different use cases for this uh, capability, uh, but, <clears throat> but what I'll do at this point is clear my selection and show you a pick visible setting. Now if I click Control Shift P, 
I will get to my FEMAP preferences. And on the graphics tab, you can see there is a fast pick visible setting here. Now I'm going to leave that off and, and close it out and show you that you can actually add that setting to a toolbar. So if I right click anywhere on the toolbars and go to customize, on the commands tab, I can scroll down to additional commands is where it is. Here you can see the pick visible setting. So all I need to do is, is drag and place that, for example, at the end of my dry erase toolbar. And now I can quickly turn that setting on and off, which again, I just showed uh, where that was in the preferences. So now I'm going to repeat that, that erase, uh, that dry erase command. So with fast pick visible on, if I draw, if I drag a fence around some portion of the model, notice what it does. It actually only selects the first visible row of elements in this case to hide. So it's literally letting me peel, uh, if you will, layer by layer of elements. So just another uh, small tip um, of how you can use uh, that pick visible setting to show and hide different uh, entities in your models. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.